Hey there, I'm gonna just now demonstrate how to download and install NeuroElf. Um, this is a macOS uh, X10.8 laptop. Um, and the first thing I do is Google for NeuroElf um, and then go to the web page and I will download the installer zip. Um, this shouldn't take too long, I hope. Yeah, just a couple seconds. Um, in this zip file, there's a couple um, of files only. And so what I'm now going to do is just um, unzip this, which will create um, a folder in the downloads folder with those couple of files. Okay, I'm switching to MATLAB. And then in MATLAB, I'm going to this directory. And in this directory is then a .m file. And this I'll just start, which will give me um, like a little bit of help. And then I will um, just use the minus i after the... Um, function name to then install the package. This wants to install in your MATLAB folder. Please make sure that you have right permission to install there. Otherwise, please just select your own folder. Um, this will just take a couple seconds and then this will run um, an installer function. Um, NeuroElf now comes with pre-compiled files, so you no longer need to worry about having a compiler for your platform. So for all major platforms, uh, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, the files come pre-compiled. Um, as the longest step, it creates um, a VMR, um, which is a specific type of data set out of the image from the average Colin brain that comes with NeuroElf, which will take about, let's say, like 30, 40 seconds, and then NeuroElf is installed. Um, there is an additional file that you can download, which is the Colin-based um, files for NeuroElf. This is about um, 560 megabyte, um, and your preference should be if you um, rather download that much of data in less time than it takes NeuroElf to create these files, which is about half an hour, then of course it makes sense to download these files. Otherwise, um, you can just, um, after the setup, it, uh, NeuroElf will ask you whether you want to create these files, so I will now answer um, no, um, and then just use NeuroElf curr uh, currently without those files. So NeuroElf is now installed, and there's a couple of features that um, I just want to very briefly highlight. One is NeuroElf comes with a graphical user interface for that you can enter NeuroElf underscore GUI, um, which will um, take a couple seconds to load the GUI and um, the UI. And as you can see, um, there's a menu structure here. You have a data set selection, and then you have like a viewing area. Um, in the viewing area, you can just um, browse around the data set. Um, and then um, with the file menu, you can just like load additional files. Um, and then here you can switch to different views. Um, currently, there's no surfaces loaded. Um, but at least I can very briefly show the rendering view, which um, shows a three-dimensional representation of the data set that is loaded. And then you can also just um, like keep them, uh, click and keep the mouse button pressed down while moving around to switch views. Okay, that's it for the graphical user interface. Um, in addition, Neuralf comes with a couple of functions. Um, in earlier versions, these functions were available immediately, um, but to reduce um, the uh, um, possibility of NeuroElf using the same function names as MATLAB toolboxes or other toolboxes, those functions are now encapsulated in a class. And to use um, these functions, you now can just create any object variable. So I just can, can call this any var equals NeuroElf which will create um, a variable of type NeuroElf. And then with any var, I can then access these functions. For instance, um, find files. Um, to retrieve help for these functions, you can just um, use the object variable, um, which in my case is still any var, dot help. And then um, as a string argument, the name of the function, which will bring up the help of this function. So find files is used to locate files um, in a um, pattern of uh, file names. Okay, that's it for now, and I hope you enjoy NeuroElf.